Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. And happy Valentine's Day to everyone. It took me forever to get my act together. Okay, I want to show you guys something. I am selling this lovely painting. I hope you can see it. I, I realized if I get in back of the, the camera... Okay, let's see if I can get a good light. Uh, this might sell, so I want to get it. I want to videotape it so you guys can see it. And so I can see it in the event that it sells. Now these... Okay, I was into aliens, as all you know, and it got me in all kinds of mischief, too. But if you look, use your imagination. This looks like giants. This looks like a flying saucer. This could be Arizona. This could be New Mexico. Or this could be Mars. Because they say, let me give you a close-up of the giants. They say, and the flying saucer, that Mars is exactly... And, and those look like chemtrails. So uh, Mars looks exactly like Arizona, supposedly, or um, New Mexico. This is according to the people who have been to Mars 20 years and back, some two times. I said, I feel like I, 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 feel like I was a hostage as well at my job. I had two 20 years, 40 years I worked. So I hope everyone is doing okay. So today is Valentine's Day. And so what I have done over the years is I always buy myself something on the holidays. If I had to wait around for somebody else to buy me stuff, hello, that's not happening. So the thing now is love bracelets, but I, I buy these kind of bracelets all the time. This, let's see if you can see it. This is a nice little Italian made bracelet and it is similar to a love bracelet and then you know I have all kinds of other bracelets so you know bracelets are really uh, a non-issue necklaces are really a lot a non-issue of all these necklaces um, the, be the best one is this one this is this was strung by my brother but they're all pretty and, and I tried to feature my eye, eye necklace because it's never seen. So, okay, so I wanted to make some good food, but this is the year of the extreme frugality, and I did not want to wreck my budget. Well, that's not happening. So I had leftover um, chicken. So um, I tore it up, and I, and I got my burrito. <sighs> Yummy my burrito package and I added some water and oh I put them back in the refrigerator so I added a half a can of of beans so I had chicken and I had beans and I had this uh, burrito mix half a package I used the whole amount of water because I wanted my, um, I want to make some burritos. What I like, what I like, and you guys have seen me make it a lot, is I like um, sandwiches or burritos. You can make one or two, and then they, they heat up good, too, in the, um, you know, I had uh, even egg and, uh, egg and cheese burritos. I have all kinds of cooking sprays, so I'll... You can do these in a dry pan, but they taste a little bit better in a, in a, if you um, put a little oil or um, a little um, shortening. So I hope everybody is having a nice holiday. And so to drink, this is some icy cold grape drink. I like this. I'll be buying more of this. So I started out with these powdered drinks. So I had grape and I have orange. So I tore up the serving size. Okay, serving size, 21 serving sizes, which would be one and a half um, 
one and a half uh, cups, and this one is 20. No, it is 28. So um, by buying these, you're not going to be stuck drinking only water. That will be a real bummer if that happens, you guys. So I want to make like a little taco bell, so a little taco bar. So I have some lettuce and some tomatoes and some olives. And I have some Rotel tomatoes. But I could have used my, um, from now on I'll be buying the salsa at Walmart. And I have some jalapenos because jalapenos are really good on uh, chicken. Yummy. I'm going to make two. One for now, one for later. I usually eat a meal in, in the middle of the night. Sometimes, uh, sometimes cereal, sometimes soup. I made a lot of soup. It's in my uh, freezer. Let me make sure this thing is still going. My, my phone was being good there for a while, but his true self has come back. So, um, I'll put a little, a little chicken. No wasting. Yummy. This is not expensive, and I have some cheese that I didn't take out of the... The refrigerator. I knew I was going to need cheese too. That was nuts. Let's hope I can find it real quick. Ah, thank you, good Lord. Dollar Tree. Um, I'll be packing my uh, freezer full of cheese. You know, after this uh, missing money, it's not missing. It's just not with me. Uh, I will make sure my my house is well. My house is full of food. And if you don't um, have that much money, uh, figure out a way you can uh, stockpile some food. It can be cheap food. Uh, you know, if I hadn't had food in my house, I'll be going, you're probably wondering, well, what did you buy with your food stamps? I didn't get any food stamps yet, you guys. But as soon as I get some, when and if, I will show you what I buy. Okay, so now I have a little, a little, um, oh, a little cheese is tasty. I could put my, I could put my, um, my lettuce and stuff on my um, my tacos, but uh, are my burritos, but I think I like them better with just cheese and uh, salsa. So I'll just make one because yummy. And, and then I have jalapenos, a couple jalapenos. If you like jalapenos. Uh, why I have jalapenos is I make uh, red onions, jalapenos, and beef when I'm on the low-carb diet. Okay. So, let me give you a close-up. This is my food. Chicken burritos. Yummy. So now, what did I make for dessert? Well, if you guys remember, about a month ago, I bought a bunch of appliances, and I bought this ice cream maker for $3.99. Such a deal. The batteries were $10. That's why a lot of people donate stuff. So I think it should be pretty much ready because it's not going. It might, it might need a little bit longer, but let's see what happened here. And you just, it's like a small ice cream maker. I will buy another one. I will keep my eye out at the thrift stores and, and I will buy one, uh, buy some. I think these would be pretty easy to sell. Ooh, yummy, look at this. I just so happen to have a really good, good um, ice cream recipe, of course. 
So what I have is I have this gold glassware. I love this. So let me get a little. Yummy. Uh, what I did, you're not supposed to use a metal spoon. I did read the instructions. That can scratch your ice cream maker. So I made a quarter batch because this little thing can only hold three cups. And my recipe, of course, oh no. My recipe, of course, um, made a lot. Oh, thank you, God. Okay, so here is my recipe. And I used evaporated milk. What I did is I made one quarter batch, two cups sugar, six tablespoons all-purpose flour, one teaspoon salt, five cups milk, six eggs, uh, four cups half and half, three tablespoons vanilla, and then, you know, rock salt and salt. But I didn't have that kind of ice cream maker. But what I did for a little bitty batch like this is... I used I'll try to remember one half cup sugar, um, two tablespoons flour, one third cup, no, one half teaspoon salt. Um, and it was nine, nine cups, so I divided that by four, so it was one and a quarter cup um, evaporated milk, but one can is not quite, uh, well, it was, it, it'd be two and a quarter cups, it was not quite two and a quarter cups, so I, um, I added a little water, a quarter cup, and I used Mexican vanilla. I used about... Um, uh, about, I think I used one teaspoon. So what you do is you add everything in a pan and you cook it until it starts to thicken. And then when it starts to thicken and it adheres to the spoon, almost like put pudding, then you cool it and then you put it in your, uh, your ice cream maker. And a heavy three quart saucepan with spoon, combine sugar, flour, salt in medium bowl with hand beater or wire whisk. Beat uh, milk and eggs together until blended. Stir into stir into sugar mixture and until smooth. Cook over low heat, stirring continuously until mixture thickens and coats a spoon about 30 to 45 minutes. I, I didn't cook mine that long. Um, I cooked mine kind of like how I did yogurt, and it seems to have come out of uh, being sure custard. It was like custard. Does not boil. Remove from heat and then cool. Okay, so now let me taste this. Yummy. This is the only way to go. Now, uh, if you stockpile evaporated milk, you can always make your own ice cream. A lot of times they have to run down to Costco and get ice cream. <laughs> Yummy. The combination of the evaporated and evaporated milk and the Mexican vanilla is really, really good. Let me see if this thing is still going. Okay, it's still going. Okay, I want to talk to you guys about the coronavirus, even though it makes me lose all my advertising. Okay, so what we know, here's what we want. We know China had a pig virus that killed a lot of the pigs. Now, lo and behold, the people have a virus, and it's killing the people. So a long time ago, when I used to take science, they said disease was host-specific. Otherwise, a person couldn't give it a disease to an animal, and the animal couldn't give a disease um, to a human. And back then, I rejected that. I said, that is horseshit. But that's what they used to say. Okay. Then the Chinese didn't destroy the swine. They continued to sell the infected swine. That we know. These are facts that we know. We know first there was a peg virus, and now there's a terrible uh, human virus that's a pneumonia-like 
virus. <clears throat> In the Bible, it prohibits the eating of pork. We might have to back off from pork. So far in the U.S., we can um, we can safely eat it. Um, what I'm worried about is if you live in a place like India, beware. Stock up food. If those um, if those people from China can't get into the U.S., if if the things if it gets worse, if there's a famine, they're going to be running anywhere they can get. And we have a trade agreement, you guys might have heard, it's between Mexico, the U.S., Canada. So you follow that all the way up to Alaska. And I think that was wise as well. So that we know. That just happened. Okay, so the thing you want to, you want to prepare for is bread, fruit, and vegetables. And so that's why I would stockpile flour because in times of famine, there's always a famine of wheat, grapes, barley, and wine. So bread, fruit, and vegetables, canned or dried. I'm, I'm stuck piling uh, mostly um, canned, but I have dried beans and rice. And then stockpile milk and cheese. I will be packing my, after this, I will be packing my freezer full of cheese and I uh, my house full of powdered milk because you can substitute some milk or dairy um, for uh, meat. You can make gravy. You can make. You can fortify your soups. You can feed it to your babies. Okay, beans and rice and canned food. Okay, so. Beef, chicken, or turkey, some fish, however, um, we would have to trust Bumblebee, Star Cut, Kiss, and Chicken of the Sea, who uh, were pu pu busted for price fixing, and now they want to sell us 2.5 ounces of tuna for a dollar, and furthermore, some of it is not tuna, some of it is, is soy. And furthermore, it tastes like crap. The good tuna is not cheap. So that is some stuff to think of. Make of it what you will. Just remember what I said. So here's my tasty, tasty burrito. Mmm. That is good. I hope everyone, this is good. You got to make this. I'm going to put the, um, if you didn't have tomatoes, you can grind um, Rotel tomatoes and put that on your salad. So you won't ever run out of four stewed tomatoes. Grind them and then put a pile on your salad with some Parmesan cheese. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And thank you very much for, for all the kind comments, and God bless you all.